afternoon. Welcome to Nurse TV. Today, our topic is on medication safety. First, I have a clip for you about an unsafe situation. And then, I'll review it with the community health nurse. Here is our clip. Hi, Billy. Are you ready for bed? Mommy came to tuck you in. Yeah, Mom. Okay. I'm just going to take some candy from my back because my back hurts. What kind of candy is it? It's Mommy's pills. Oh. Just, it's just for my back. Oh, just a second. The phone's ringing. I'll be right back, Billy. Hello? Oh, hi. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. Um, I'm just getting ready to put Billy to bed. Can I call you back? Okay. Bye. Billy, what are you doing? Those are, oh. there's that candy. Those are pills. You can't have, are you okay? Did you have any? Did you eat? Oh my gosh, what should I do? I don't remember what to do. Should I, oh my gosh, Billy! Welcome back. This is Katie, our community health nurse. Katie, can you tell our viewers what went wrong in this situation? Yeah, there are a few things. First, Ginny, the mother, was taking her medication in front of her child. That's never a good idea. Also, she left the room with the medication open and her child in that room. It's easy to get distracted, but always take your medication or your child with you. She also had medication that was not in a safety lock, like this bottle. It's easy to unscrew. Even a child could do that. Mm. We now have pill bottles with locks. It's really hard to turn. You have to push down and turn. That's much better when you have kids in the house or any medications. That makes sense. Is there anything else that the viewers should be aware of? Yeah, always leave your medications in their original container so that they're labeled correctly. Read the labels very carefully before you take the medication yourself or give the medication to anyone else. Also, throw out expired medications and never call medication candy in front of your children. All right, those are very good tips, Katie. Here's a recap. What should the viewers do if they suspect an unsafe situation? The first thing is to remain calm. Not all medication poisonings have tragic outcomes. Also, act quickly. Don't wait for symptoms and even call, even if you just suspect your child might have taken pills but didn't actually see them take them. Okay. The number you would call is 1-800-222-1222. That's the poison control hotline. So you would call poison control before you would call 911? Actually, yes, because poison control has all the information regarding medications and what to do if a poisoning would occur. They'll give you instruction as far as what your next action should be. Okay. Well, thank you, Katie, for joining our show. Thank you for joining our show. We hope you've learned some useful information regarding medication safety. Until next time, Joanne Smith. <laughs>